Hey everybody, it's Nick DiVirgilio here, and today's video is on this ANF drum company Copper Three Piece Shell Pack. This drum kit is so much fun to play. And you might be saying to yourself right now, well, Nick, I've seen a lot of your videos here at Sweetwater, and um, you say that about every drum kit you play. Well, that may be true, but that's because drums are an awful lot of fun to play. If you never played drums, I encourage you to do so because it's a gas. And Rami Anton and the gang down at ANF Drums in Austin, Texas, have built drums that are unique, vintage sounding, vintage looking, vintage feeling, but so modern in the way they build them. And man, they sound great. And you get inspired just by sitting behind the drum kit. That's all I can say. So let's get into the details of this copper drum kit right now. Everything that the gang at the a &F Drum Company builds is completely by hand. This kit starts with a sheet of orchestra grade copper. Then they roll the copper, put in the seam, they weld the seam, and then sand it down to make a perfect round drum shell. Then they put the shell in an oxidation bath to give it this patina, or at least to start the look of this patina, because I bet you even over a lot of years, the patina will even change more. After that, perfect 45 degree bearing edges, all of this killer looking patinaed hardware, and you get this great sounding, full sounding drum kit. The sizes of this kit are a 13 by eight inch rack tom, 14 by 16 inch floor tom, and a 14 by 22 inch kick drum. The drums are outfitted with Remo single ply ambassador heads on the top, coated. So you get a nice warm tone from the head, but these drums, the copper shells, well you could tune them really low and get a bark out of the tom. So let's do that first. Snare wires are off. Check out the sound of these toms. These drums sound huge, 13 and 16 inch toms, you know, you could take them anywhere you want, but right now they're round and low and beefy and just uh, with projection, they're loud, they sound great. Let's get into this kick drum. Again, 14 by 22 and it's outfitted with a clear Remo Power Stroke 3. There's nothing inside this kick drum at all. The, the head on the front has no hole, but you'll notice that the badge We'll talk about the badges in a second, but the badge is really big and it has a leather washer underneath the badge, which sort of acts like a dampener a little bit too. But just wanted to mention that to you, the drum is wide open. Here it is. It is big and beefy for a 22 inch kick drum. I think it sounds more like a 24, but boy, it's just nice and punchy. The clear head with their low boy beater, I'll show you that in a second as well. Nice punch and attack, and again, big round full sound. Three piece shell pack does not come with snare drums, but we have a couple of really cool ANF snare drums here to couple with this kit. The main snare drum is their ANFers six and a half by 14 solid steel bell snare drum. It's got a black patina, it's super heavy, and it's big sounding, feels great underneath the hands. Over here, I have a pancake 13 by three inch steel drum over here as well, and it just, again, sounds nice. Different, different texture and different sound compared to the main snare drum here. But it's fun to play, so I thought I'd put it with this kit. I'm gonna turn the snare wires on on both drums now, and do a little more playing for you.
Before I get into the hardware on these drums, let's talk about what you would use these drums for. You could tune these drums up a lot higher than they are now, get them more into a jazz setting. You can keep them low like this, and you can definitely play any kind of style of rock and roll. Fast, slow, anywhere in between. Different head combinations would work well on this kit as well. The single ply heads are perfect right out of the box because they have a nice open sound, but I encourage you to check out different heads because you might have a sound that you're looking for, a little drier sound, a little deader sound, double ply heads, different thicker bottom head combinations. Go for it. Put them on these drums and see what they sound like. You can always go back to the single ply ambassadors. Let's get into the hardware now on this kit. They put the vintage patina on everything. The hoops, the tuning rods, the lugs, the tubes between the lugs, everything has that same vintage look and feel. So the hoops, old school, old style, single flanged hoops. Now they're, you know, they kind of have a feel of die cast hoops with the single flange up, but they're not as thick as die cast. They feel really good under the hands. You get a nice rim shot with the single flanged hoop. Okay. It doesn't hurt your wrist or your forearm at all. Feels good. Single post lugs with the rods going on either side into the tuning rod, so nice low mass. There's not a lot of stuff going on on the drums. The single lugs right down the center of the shells just looks great, and it does the job for keeping the tuning of these drums intact. I also want to mention that the hoops are held on by claw hooks on all of the drums, snare drums, toms, everywhere. Again, just adds to that old school vintage look and feel. Speaking of claw hooks, let's look at the ones that come on this kick drum. All of the a and metal drum kits have wood hoops on their kick drums. The claw hooks are old style, old looking, like from drums from the 40s, 30s, and 20s. They got a great vibe, a great feel, and a great look. Again, with the single post lugs, with the tubes coming out on either, either side, keeping these drums in tune as long as you're gonna play them. The badges on these a and drums are super cool for a couple of reasons. A, they look good. They also have leather washers underneath all of the badges, as well as all the lugs have leather washers as well. So it's a cool visual feature, and it's a nice touch that no other drum that I know of has. And again, I want to mention that that badge on the front of the kick drum head is big, also has the leather washer underneath, which acts as a little bit of a dampener to the drum head. And that's it, everybody. These drums are really simple, and they're really simple for a reason. There's not a lot going on here. When they built drums back in the 20s and 30s, the 1920s and 30s, I should say, there wasn't much to them. It was only in the 80s and 90s and past that where drums had started getting a ton of hardware features on, all kinds of different tom mounting options, which is great as well, but that's not what ANF was going for. They're going for old school looking, feeling, and sounding drums, and that's what they did very well. They also have a, group, a ton of what they call gadgets that you can get. We have a great selection of them here at Sweetwater, like their low boy beaters, these super cool drum keys. Even the beaters and the drum keys have the same vintage patina on them, so I encourage you to check out all of the accoutrements you can get for their drums. And finally, before I close out this video, I want to encourage you to check out the text below the video. There I'll have links for all of the other gear I'm using, the recording gear and all of these really cool SE drum microphones. And there you have it, everyone, the a and Drum Company Copper 3-Piece Shell Pack. Super cool drums to play. They look great. They sound great. I highly encourage you to check them out. If you want any more information about these a and products or any other a and product, just contact your Sweetwater sales engineer. Thanks a lot for watching.